Hello again. Today I'm going over the basics of a Unitail mod and show you how to edit monster stats and other basic stuff. After you downloaded Lua and Unitail, just follow my steps. I'm not gonna show how to download Lua and Unitail because I'm too lazy. Just copy the encounter skeleton folder and rename it because that mod is very basic and easy to modify and understand. Once you copied the mod, delete on the encounter files in the encounter folder, because they're the same. If you don't trust me, check for yourself. Now it's time to teach you what a Unitail mod consists of. A basic Unitail mod contains three folders. One for all the encounter files. One for all the monsters and the last one is for all the waves. An encounter file contains some useful and important methods and variables. It also determines which monsters will be in the battle. A monster file contains some variables related to the monster like its sprite stats and act commands. It also contains some very important functions. A wave script contains everything that will be happening when the monsters are attacking you. When you start your copied mod it looks like this. This is so boring. Let's change something in the encounter script. The variable named encounter text is the text that will be displayed when the encounter starts. Let's change this to something better. Now let's take a look at the poser script and change stuff there. Comments is an array where random messages are stored which are printed out after a wave ends. The commands array is used for the act menu. More of that later. A string in random dialog is printed out before a wave starts. Sprite. HP, ATK and DEF are clear if you played Undertale or a fang game. Name is used in the enemy select menu. Dialog bubble is the type of dialog bubble which will be appear when an enemy talks. Can spare and can check determine if the enemy can be spared and if you can check an enemy. Last but not least, check is the message that will be displayed along with the enemy's stats when you use the built in check command on an enemy. That's it for today's episode. Next time we will modify the monster script even more. We'll create act commands and set specific battle and monster dialogue.